So here's the kit that I've got uh, that I'm trying to build out for camping. Still got a lot to add to it, but so far I've got the um, two GoPower Plus uh, portable battery banks. Pick those up at uh, a big box store clearance uh, for thirty dollars a piece, which was I thought a pretty good deal considering they use eighteen six fifties for the lithium power. Sawyer water purification thing. I haven't opened that yet, but uh, if I need it, it's there. And a crank uh, radio, little recharger thing that can power from solar as well. And here is my uh, cook kit. This is kind of interesting. It's a uh, IKEA utensil holder. It's basically just a twig stove, but. One of the things I do is I save my dryer lint and stuff it in a container or a Ziploc and this stuff makes starting fires so easy. Also I have the stainless steel cook pot down in the bottom and the uh, two support rods that go through the holes to hold it up when it's cooking. Mosquito bug net hammock it's an equip brand one person that this thing is really comfortable and easy to set up that's why I like it the problem is you need two trees in order to make it um, the most comfortable it can be set up on the ground but it's kind of a pain oh and I got a slingshot which reminds me I need to toss my slingshot ammo in here okay anyway that's where I'm at so far. Uh, the lid will hopefully contain a, I don't know what wattage, solar panel yet. Might be 200, but depending on how big it is. Uh, if I go flexible and lightweight, which is probably the route I'm going to go, it'll probably be in the neighborhood of 100 to 200 watts. The more the better, obviously. So, just a quick update on where I'm at with building out this solar recharging camping kit that I'm trying to do on a fat tire e-bike.